Imagine the situation. As soon as a person whose lifetime came to an end stopped breathing, a team of cryomedics appeared, took the body, and put it in the deep freeze chamber. Relatives grieve, but they are sure that in tens or hundreds of years, it will be possible to unfreeze and revive the deceased. Until recently, Cody. such a scene could only be seen in science fiction films. Today, it is reality. Not ordinary, but still reality in different parts of the Earth. Cryopreservation is a very deep freeze, about negative 196 Celsius or negative 321 Fahrenheit. To achieve such a low temperature, the capsule with the body is placed in liquid nitrogen. The whole body, or sometimes only the brain, are subjected to cryopreservation process in the hope that future technology will allow it to be implanted into a suitable body or provide it with another way of existence, for example, in the form of a bio-robot. Now, there are many cryonic societies members, of which believe in the possibility of resurrecting a frozen human body or brain. Living clients sign a contract that provides freezing their bodies after their death. Naturally, societies do this for a lot of money. In order to maintain the body at the right temperature, you need professional equipment and expensive maintenance. Opinions of scientists about cryonics are divided. Some think that the idea with freezing is deception, justifying it by the fact that the restoration of information stored in the frozen brain is impossible. Some are sure that future sciences will be able to restore memory and personality, which, in fact, are chemical transformations of the brain structure. The third group is waiting. Of course, cryopreservation looks fantastic, but there were times when people did not believe in the possibility of a flight to the moon or telephone communication. Who knows what science can do?